Without wasting your time, we are going to share Top 5 Best Garage Refrigerator. The product links are in the description and in first comment. The number 5 on the list is Kenmore Top Freezer. Kenmore Top Freezer, when it comes to food storage, nothing comes close to the Kenmore Top Freezer and Refrigerator. This large top freezer refrigerator has 21 cubic feet of interior space and long-lasting LED lighting, perfect for storing snacks, leftovers, lunches and cans of soda in your home or office. The refrigerator features full-width adjustable glass, shelves to suit your food storage needs and two clear plastic crisper drawers to keep fruits and vegetables fresh. It also features slide-out glass storage shelves for easy access and removal of pies, cakes casseroles, and larger food items. With the refrigerator's convenient door storage, there's no more trying to figure out how to fit all the food inside. The gallon door bins make it easy to store tall items and beverages alongside your favorite sauces, condiments, and other ingredients. The tall item accommodation on the bottom shelf means more space for bottles of wine and water, while the convenient ice maker ensures your beverages stay cold out of the fridge as well. The frost-free top freezer helps you keep frozen food nice and organized with two door bins and a single shelf. The 5.8 cubic feet freezer also helps reduce freezer burn on your freezer and frozen food. The white refrigerator features a clean back design that hides the condenser coils, preventing the accumulation of dust and providing you with better performance. The Energy Star certified fridge with energy efficient lighting meets EPA standards and can be placed in garages that get as cold as 39 degrees Fahrenheit with no additional adapters. Kenmore recommends measuring your space to ensure the freezer refrigerator combo will fit. The top freezer refrigerator measures for the perfect amount of versatile food storage space. I agonized over my refrigerator purchase and finally settled on this one when it was on offer now. I had a half-sized refrigerator that was not holding its temperature before this, so my standards were so low that anything that does what it says on the tin is marvelous. I'm glad I got the ice maker, heads up, installation means that the delivery guys will screw the hose into the existing water line for you, so if you don't have one, they won't be able to do it. The number 4 on the list is gallons. Gallons, a beautifully made sturdy small fridge. Arrived safely packaged and started right up, outside is just an eye popper with solid paint and chrome. Handles easily, attached and are solidly on, unlike on several new full-size fridges I've had. Took a few minutes to figure out how to insert the evaporator tray which was loose, it slides in at the top of the compressor section, on the back I guess, I may have to empty or clean it periodically. The finish and thickness of the outside make me confident this guy is not going to rust out like those large fridges did on the outside. The inside is so well designed with very useful and flexible sturdy door shelves that easily snap in and out for spacing or cleaning. My wine bottle fit right in. The interior shelf area is also flexible and spacious enough to keep a variety of items. Shelves are glass. As noted in other reviews, the veg drawer is small, but there's room for my three tomatoes with plenty, left over yes chilling tomatoes is a family preference. The freezer holds a nice amount too, two half gallon ice creams would fit with room for more, again with an ice door shelf. Having a separate freezer compartment is a plus to keep freezing steady. The fridge fully cooled empty in two hours. The freezer is not frost free. I think this is consistent for the little fridges. Once I turned down the setting and put food in, the frost diminished. I may have just frozen the humid air in it originally it was a humid day. I think I can just take a dish towel to it as a maintenance or as suggested I could turn off the fridge for a while and wipe. We used to have to defrost fridges in the olden days, this little one only has a single temp control though, so I would have to be careful not to let the fridge section get too warm while I'm defrosting. I used to put a bowl of hot water in the freezer to quicken the process and never use knives or hammers to clear frost you, only pierce the freon once to learn that lesson otherwise, just a delightful addition to my den. I put it up on a sturdy little table so I can reach everything easily. The number 3 on the list is RCARFR. RCARFR, I was a little apprehensive about this order. 
There were so many, grumbles about damage, boxes and dented units. Fortunately for me, everyone that handled my particular fridge was a professional. So many grumbles about the unit being noisy and not working well. I have done professional vac and refrigeration as one of my certified trades. I opened the box and inspected the unit, perfect condition. I, I allowed it to stand for 24 hours before starting it to allow any bit of oil and refrigerant time to settle back into the compressor. Upon startup, it was so quiet that I actually laid my hand on the compressor to make sure that it was running. Set the thermostat at 5, the highest setting, to cool the fridge before putting anything in it. After 3 hours, the freezer was at 9 degrees and the fridge at 33 degrees. I reset the thermostat at 3 and a half zone and loaded my food. The freezer now stays at 28 degrees and the fridge at 38 degrees and maintaining. So I'm definitely a happy camper a hard lesson for me to have learned. This thing is short and slim, be forewarned. Bought it to replace an old heavily damaged fridge in my office space and uncertain if it'll be big enough for everyone. Still need to plug it in and get it, running will update, review when it is. Only damage from shipping was a crack in the bottom drawer I can see how things may get busted up though, as the tape meant to hold the door, shelves is pretty weak. They had fallen out and were all jumbled and loose inside the fridge when I first opened it up. There was also a giant wet spot on the box in the area of the fridge's cooling mechanism at the bottom a little dubious about that. We'll see if it runs fine though, fingers crossed. The number two on the list is Gallon's GLR. Gallon's GLR, I was nervous about buying this fridge because of the bad reviews about people receiving dented ones. Mine however is just fine, no dents at all. I plugged it in about an hour ago and it is nice and cold already. I paid $450 with tax for it when it was on sale. So far I am very pleased with my purchase. The only thing that I don't like is that it is open at the bottom. The wires are just hanging out. This doesn't seem right at all. A rodent or a kitten could get in there and chew on things or mess with something. I think it is obvious that the area should be covered. Now I will have to figure out how I will cover it. It comes in a box with very thin styrofoam to protect it which must be why people keep getting damaged ones. The other thing that does worry me quite a lot is that there are warnings on the back of it saying that it could explode. I spent quite a bit of time online trying to find out how likely it is that my refrigerator will explode. I suppose refrigerators have been exploding for years, but I never knew it was a possibility until I saw it on the back of this fridge. I can't afford to have even part of my house destroyed because of an exploding refrigerator, and I don't want to be killed or injured by an exploding fridge either. Love it, it is taking a little adjustment to go from a big fridge to a 12 cubic feet, but it's coming along. I'm using fridge containers in lieu of drawers and one for water bottles. There is only one shelf high enough for some standard beverage containers, but you have to be careful of weight. There is a slot in the door that holds a gallon of milk nicely. The height and depth are in line with standard full-size refrigerators, and the width is a few inches narrower. The freezer is fine for a small household. My only negative is with Gallon's customer service. There was an issue with a couple screw holes for the handles, plastic, being cut incorrectly. I called them twice, but each time they took a message and said I would get get a call back within 24 to 48 hours, it's been 5 weeks since my first call and have never been contacted. Amazon would only be able to just replace the whole fridge. I didn't want to do that so I just dealt with it myself. The number one on the list is Summit. Summit, my son was so excited to receive this graduation college gift from his grandparents, so we set it up immediately in his room, and he promptly stocked it with his Cokes and water. The next night, however, there was a disaster. The Cokes froze and exploded, shattering the glass shelves, and when we opened it there was a million shards of glass and sticky frozen Coke everywhere. Luckily there is a drip tray over the motor, which kept it from being flooded with coke, but the cleanup was a nightmare. I was also not able to remove the drip tray to get the coke out, so it was a huge pain to sop it up without getting any on the motor. I was able to order new shelves, but it took several weeks and did not get here before he left for college, so overall the fridge has been a disappointment. 
it's a good fridge and looks really cool, but remember to turn down the temp control when you first get it and don't stock it until you're sure the temp is right. The fridge is great for my office and is very spacious. The shelves are a little odd and high tanned, with one of them being half size, it's hard to readjust the layout of the fridge itself. The fridge keeps things cold well and have had it for a few months without much negative feedback. The freezer part is really small and doesn't always stay frozen, which has resulted in half-frozen ice cubes and melted food a couple of times. The first fridge we ordered came with a lot of external damage, everything worked, but the dents were hard to ignore, so we ended up returning it. Definitely recommend inspecting if possible before the delivery is complete, in case there's damage, to avoid having to return it at a UPS location.